welcome back uh, so in this video we're going to discuss about the sandbox which is by default available in your uh, windows 11 professional um, just for your information this is not available in the windows home versions so professional will be there and you can go ahead and install it for your testing or if you want to test anything uh, something related to your where you don't want to impact your base system or your physical system so you can go ahead and uh, use the sandbox so f just for example i'm just uh, going through with the details which is published over the microsoft website so windows sandbox uh, it provides a lightweight desktop environment to safely run your eyes applications in isolation that means you you can run your application in a separate system where that will be completely isolated from your actual physical system and uh, software installed inside the sandbox environment will remain in sandbox and run separately from the host machine so host machine is your actual machine but when you run anything or any software in the sandbox that will be completely sep separate from your actual machine and sandbox is temporary whenever you close it all the software files and state everything will be deleted so you again when you started you will get a brand new instance of this so um some of the properties mentioned here part of the windows everything required for this feature is included windows 10 pro and enterprise there is no to do, no need to download a vst so basically you don't have to download any virtual uh, software so you can go ahead and by default enable this feature from the windows 10 pro or windows 11 pro pristine is something every time when you are windows sandbox run it will be a clean complete brand new installation of windows disposal uh, it's kind of the uh, i mean discard everything once you close the application secure um, is basically it's, it's isolated from your actual network you can do anything over there and that will be a secure uh, any infection or any uh, impact over that machine will not impact your uh, actual machine efficient use the integrated kernel scheduler smart memory manager and virtual gpu you can uh, use it very efficiently um, there are prerequisites which they have mentioned so home edition will not have this um, utility or feature but yes enterprise you can use it enterprise and professional 64-bit architecture will be required virtualization capability should be enabled in the bias most of the system uh, will come with the default uh, settings but you have to verify if that is not working and please verify before starting it on the bias 4 GB RAM will be required but 8 GB is recommended because uh, it will assign some of memory to your um, sandbox as well 1 GB uh, free disk space um, SSD would be recommended and two CPU cores will be fine we are four th threading will be running so uh, in this scenario I mean other are information where you can go ahead and do it so I'm just explaining it in a very simple way right click on uh, start button and uh, you will able to see the option run here you can type control where your control panel will be up and find the option here uh, would be programs so program and features on the left side you can see three options so you have to click the last option which is turn windows features on or off click on it your window features uh, will be opened scroll down and you will be able to see the option uh, there the window sandbox just click on it just make sure you should have the internet connectivity because it will download the features from the internet click on ok and uh, it will search the required files over the internet and will download and install it automatically uh, again this will not take much time uh, you can uh, wait for it and yeah uh, the changes are uh, initializing and it's applying on this computer the restart option would be there okay so my system has been successfully restarted uh, let's start the sandbox now click on start and search your windows sandbox just click on it it'll take some time for the initialization
and the ultimate goal to use the sandbox is basically um, if you want to test anything where your actual system should not suffer and should not change anything in terms of um, files or any setting so you can use the sandbox for your testing most of the um, IT professional are using it because um, they need a separate environment where they can test the particular things and they can apply it on the actual machine so that's a good way and uh, where you can um, easily make the changes everything will be available there and you can go ahead and note and the most important thing is there is no any third party VMware or anything is required this is inbuilt feature in professional and enterprise versions okay so sandbox has has been started you can see the things are coming up this is the base machine I mean there will be no any software or anything the basic software will be there which will come by default in the windows and you can go ahead and use it settings will be there and uh, recycle bin will work right your C drive this is completely isolated so don't worry um, nothing will happen here if you run anything right and uh, the internet will work fine where you can use the website and anything so you'd want to test anything in this environment that will be a uh, safe as because the, this is completely different from your actual, actual machine so let's go ahead and close this now shut down okay so it's shutting down and will close automatically and whenever you run it again right so I'm starting it again so everything will be new here nothing will come up as it is so all the stuff which you have changed that will be washed out and uh, you will able to use it as a new machine Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel.